Um, our next project is this Fibonacci caliper, and it's really cool. And it's based on the Fibonacci sequence of numbers, and it starts at zero. So, if you start with the first number, zero, one, then you add the two previous numbers together. So zero plus one is one. Clay, one and one is two. two. Rich, two and one is three. Austin, eight. Uh, Travis, the next one? Thirteen. Thirteen. Tyler, the next one? Um, that would be twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, next one, Trevor? Uh, Thirty-four. Thirty-four. So you just four. add the number, the two previous numbers together, and that's the Fibonacci sequence. But what's really cool about this is if you take this number and divide it by this number, so if I do 89, Divided by, 89 divided by 55, I get 1.618. If I do 55 divided by 34, I get 1.618, actually 1, 17. If I do 34 divided by 21, I get a pretty similar ratio. And the further I go on, it approaches this number every time. So the goal ratio is 1.62 and it's represented with the Greek letter phi but it's 1.62 and it's based on this Fibonacci sequence okay so these calipers that we're going to make uh, are in a ratio of 1.62 to 1 and it's actually pretty cool because um, this is 1.62 to 1 or 1.62 to 1 uh, and the way I made it was I had to do it on CNC router because I want it really accurate. So this length to this is 1.62 to 1. And you can really see like where it applies itself. Like if you were to look at the top digit of your finger to the whole length of your finger, or your finger to your wrist, it's kind of that same ratio. Uh, I guess my finger's a little shorter than most. Right? Then your wrist to your whole arm. So it, it happens in everywhere, like in that video we just watched, uh, doodling in math class, all those plants have the same ratio in it, have that Fibonacci sequence. A lot of well-manufactured, well-designed things, like this screen right here, my calculator, is at 1, 1.6, it's going to stay in that same ratio pretty much. This box built is 1. Pretty close to 1.6. So we're going to make this caliper, Tyler, and then we're going to take our calipers, go on a field trip, and then you need to find something outside that's going to hold to this golden ratio. What I'd like you to do on that graph paper right now is draw out that Fibonacci spiral. So how that thing works is you don't want to start in the center of your graph paper. You kind of want to start in this corner up here a little ways. Wait, sorry, in this corner up here. So I'll try and do it here, but if I have one square, so this is one, then I have another one, then I need a square that's two, so two by two, so here's my one, here's my one, here's my two, then I need one that's three, three by three, then I'm going to draw one that's five, one, two, three. Four, five by five. Kind of run that real quick here. Then I'm going to draw one that's eight by eight. And then the way I create that uh, spiral inside of there is actually a constant ratio of a compass. So it's a radius of a circle. So my first radius right here is a radius of one. Whoops. My first one is going to have a radius of 1, my second one a radius of 1, my next one a radius of 2, my next one a radius of 3, my next one a radius of 5, my next one a radius of 8. And don't just you know, scratch it really quick, really try and stay with the radius. So there's my radius. Here's my radius here, 
here's my radius here. And that, that spiral is following this pattern. And the ratio of the one arc to the previous arc is always 1.62 to 1. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing how it models everything. Um, here's a good math problem for you, though. What about the ratio of this area right here? What's the ratio of this area to this you area? You know, sketching out that Fibonacci spiral on the graph paper. I'd like you to go into Mastercam and draw it in Mastercam as well. And I'll, I'll show you how easy it is to draw in Mastercam. So first thing we're going to do is create a rectangle. I'm going to start at the origin, and I'm going to make it one by one, snap. Hey, I'm in master cam. You remember we always start with machine type router, techno servo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle starting at the origin, going up one unit and over one unit. Done with that. Zoom out a little bit. Create a rectangle starting here. And over and up one and one. Okay, I just centered it in here. I'm going to create another rectangle starting here. Because I'm going to the left, I need to go over negative two, up two. Then I'm going to draw my circle. So I'm going to go create an arc from a center point. Snap right there, right onto the radius. And then over here is trim. And I want this trim here. Trim that line off, that line off. Oh, I didn't have to do that. But create an arc from a center point from there to there. Again, I'll trim it off. And then this is the history manager, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to trim that off. Create another rectangle here. And now I'm going to have to go over the 1 and the 2, so it's 3 by 3. I'm going over to the left, so negative 3 by 3. And I'm, oops, I'm going down three. There's that. Uh, create another rectangle starting here. This one's going to be three plus one plus one. So it's going to be five by five. And I'll go over here and create an arc centered at that point with the radius to there. Trim. And there's your uh, Fibonacci sequence spiral. I could keep going. And I want to trim down there. So, any questions at all on drawing your Fibonacci ratio Nautilus on paper in Mastercam? And then we're going to cut one out on the CNC router. We're going to build one, then we're going to go on a field trip outside to find things in nature that are going to fit this.